Thank you for joining us on our Flutter Flame game journey. We have Charlie, who's a chicken, and Charlie, prior to this video, could walk outside of the world. We're going to set up a bounds detection for Charlie so that Charlie is stuck within the world here and has to explore it. He's going to find some pineapples and other platforms in future videos, but today we're focusing in on how to keep Charlie in the world. If you start Charlie on a mobile device, like an Android phone here, this is a Pixel 4a emulator. You notice that the game is not the proper orientation, so let's fix that first. Let's go to the top of the, of the main, right here. It's above the run app. So we're first going to make sure that the Flutter widget engine is loaded. Widgets, Flutter binding dot ensure initialize. This is part of Flutter. But this next line here about the Flame device is part of Flame. So Flame dot device dot full screen here. Make sure that the whoops. Whoops. Control dot flame dot flame. Then we'll set the device to landscape. Device dot landscape. Set to landscape. Okay. Now we have the game uh, in this type of orientation, but the resolution, uh, it's not set up for this game screen. So let's now fix that. I'm going to first delete this background static image because we're now using this map. Let's set up the camera viewpoint, viewport. So Flame also has this nice uh, method here for the viewport that we can set up. And we'll set it to fixed resolution viewport. Fixed resolution viewport. It takes a vector two. So I'm going to set up the width and the height of it here. But first, let's get the, the size of the home map. Create a variable for map height. So it's the, number, it's the width of each pixel. And then we can pull the number of pixels and the height of the screen from the home map here. Okay, now we know the height of the, the map. Let's see whether this made a difference here with the viewport. Now Charlie is sized correctly for a mobile screen. Okay, let's put some additional maybe print statements in our debug console to help you understand what's going on. So in this onload method here, we are first on loading up all of our assets, right? So it's async await. So it's going to wait for, for example, this tile map to load. So let's to the console so you can see. Step three would be to load the map. And if we 
reload it. Our chicken's looking good. And it will print out here, load the map. This step here, it after it loads the map from this TMX file, then it will add the map to the game. And then here, it's going to load the graphic, try the chicken. So you can see that these steps are happening in sequence and it's because that there are these, one of the reasons is that there's these wait calls. So it's going to wait in, until this step here completes before it goes on to the next step in, in general. Okay, let's go to the update method. So let's create some boolean variables so that's easier to understand to detect when Charlie the chicken is moving in a certain direction Using the relative delta of the joystick, we can detect if Charlie uh, is moving up or down or a combination of up and down. can also figure out the um, the y and x vector so the vector when Charlie moves his velocity is two components and we can get the individual components so, so now that when he's moving we can set up a series of if statements to check if when to make Charlie move so let's delete this one first. So if he's moving left and the chicken X, so Charlie's X position is greater than zero. Or He's moving right and his chicken X position is less than the size of the game. 
then we are going to adjust the chicken position only on the x axis chicken dot position dot add vector two so the vector two is a two position vector uh, the first one is going to be the only the x component so we're just checking here if it's on the if he's moving horizontally if chicken is moving and let's test it out before we make him move vertically so loaded up all our assets here and we can make Charlie move horizontally and Charlie is hitting the boundary but he can not move up or down here because we haven't set it up yet we just deleted the line to move in all directions so that we could have a check to see whether he's moving horizontally or not Now we'll check if Charlie is moving uh, vertically. And he could be moving vertically and horizontally at the same time. Move up. And the chicken Y is greater than zero, or he's moving down, and oops. And the chicken dot y is less than the size of the screen minus the chicken so there's a property within the sprite component or sprite animation component for the height of the chicken so this thing is built into the flame sprite animation component or sp the sprite components uh, all the flame components have this so this nice height here. That's how we know the height of the, the chicken. So this position dot add is also built into the sprite animation component. And that's really this nice set of tools that Flame gives you. Oh. oh, he stops. Oh, he's stopping. Very good. So now Charlie has a world that we can see Charlie in this world. And we want to create some interaction, which we're going to go back to the tiled map editor and handle these tasks one by one try looks good so this is on a android pixel 4a api 31 i'm going to stop it and i will test it on the desktop in this case i'm using linux and we'll see whether Charlie, how Charlie looks on the desktop. Oh, this is great. Charlie looks exactly the same on the desktop. Flame is awesome. Wow. Everything's looking good.
And it looks like I can resize Charlie. Flame is so awesome. Just resize on the fly. Beautiful. Everything works as you would expect it. So what about on the web if you want to share this thing with your friends? Just try it. So now this is in a web page. Wow, it's running perfectly on a web page too. So cool. Okay, in the next uh, video, we'll have Charlie. We'll set up Charlie so he can pick up some pineapples here and uh, have some interactivity with Charlie and the pineapples. Have a great day.